are in Minnesota at Game Fair. I decided to come out here. I had travel points, and uh, in the process, I talked with Sean from R&T, and uh, I'm going to be hanging out at their booth, going to be hanging out with the guys from the Midwest Flyways podcast and YouTube channel. They invited me out here to uh, their industry party, and I'm just going to spend some time walking around Game Fair and checking out what's there. I'm going to try to film as much as I can on my other camera, but I might just use this phone for most of it because it's convenient. But uh, I'm going to shoot some pictures and stuff at, at the R&T booth. Uh, Sean got me a pass, which is pretty awesome of him. He didn't need to do that. And uh, yeah, just going to spend the weekend mostly hanging out with Sean and Foster and uh, checking out Game Fair. So we're heading in right now and uh, I'll give you guys a little preview of the booth before everybody starts showing up. And then uh, as much as I can film throughout the weekend, I'm going to show some of the booths and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of dog trials uh, or like dog competition stuff that I really want to watch. And we'll see how much money we can spend because I only brought enough to pretty much bring home uh, a small suitcase. So we'll see what I can pack in there. But we're heading in now. We'll catch you guys at the show. Coming up in 10 minutes, a special live podcast with Mark Norquist, founder of Modern Carnivore, and Rob Dreamline from the Outdoor News. Not normal, I know that. I looked at it last year. Yeah, it's fun. like, so I'll kind of show you in the back of the. Kind of like that, and so. So it's just, it's all about pressure and just rolling your tongue just the right way. That's how you, that's how you get it. It's kind of a weird one, but you know, it's like anything with Colin. Once you learn it, you're never gonna forget it, so. Okay, now, we shot the hip, upside down over the head. This next shot's got a little tough on the ears. And many of y'all would understand why. It's called that dad bod. A little bit, a little bit. That dad bod's not gonna make this shot a little bit more tough. You get a little flexible. You take the shotgun and put it right behind my back. Fancy gear. I can yell at the same time, so I couldn't multitask. And so, for proven wrong, I put this in the show. A lot of things going on here. I'm just throwing shit. Okay, uh, but talking about my parents, my dad said I couldn't multitask, but my mom paid for the pretty teeth, so no bad throat, Sawyer. All right, you ready? All right, buddy, sit. Nope, this way. No, it's me. Oh, there we go. That's a good throw. Let's go behind the back this time, like that. All right, we'll go right between the legs this time. Let's go on the edge this time. There it is. All right, Sawyer, this one's for you. You gotta throw it. hey -ya! That's it. Nice throw, Sawyer. Good job, bud. Appreciate you. You're a pro just like you told me. Thank you for your help. Pull. 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 
or that button you got, it says pair. You think we ought to try that? All right, do that pull, or that pair button. Let's see if we can do it. Pull. 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 Oh, I'm out of shields. <laughs> oh, man. Just like that. One more for the hot sauce. Okay, we're going to spice it. Spice up the sauce with some peppers, just like this. And then, folks, when we got to the onion, Raylan was crying. I don't know if it was the onion or the mess, but I've never had to cook ever since. <laughs> pretty good, uh, pretty good lesson for you, young bucks. Okay, now, how much did y'all get off of that? Am I the only one wearing it right now? I can change that real quick. All right, now I wouldn't do it to you. I got a lot of trouble with the older guy here one time. Shaving cream snuck up on him. Okay, now, the uh, veggies are fun, but I shoot them real fast so they get out of the way, kind of like when they put them on my plate and eat them real quick and get to the good stuff. Now, this is going to be everybody's favorite, the watermelon. shows you the true power of a 12-gauge shotgun. Shower now. Shower. I knew you'd love a watermelon. It's raining. Yeah, y'all are going to be like me. I usually am that guy that sits in the back of the plane smelling like sweat, clay targets, fruits, and veggies all at the same time. It's awesome. Okay, now that was the watermelon. This is my favorite. It's the pineapple. I'm going to take the pineapple. I'm going to throw it up on its side just like that. I'm going to take the first shot from the hip. Got the crown on. The second shot from the hip. Wrap the meat. Think we can pull that off? Okay. Why not? Let's try it. There it is. Right. Low end. We'll keep them low for you. There. Apple. Okay, little lime. Everybody likes lime. There it is. All right. Hey, would you have grabbed that one by the lip? It's a ways away. Yeah. All right, well, a very successful first day of game fair here. I got to talk to quite a few people that uh, I've been talking to online in one fashion or another, and then also just talking to random people. So I was able to talk to Thomas Hoke from Hoke Outdoors. We've been kind of going back and forth for a few years. So we spent quite a bit of time today talking, catching up. Um, got to run over to the sport dog booth and talk to Josh Miller, who I'm getting my dog from, um, hopefully either at the beginning or the end of this year or early next year. And he was really awesome to talk to. Um, I also got to talk to, uh, Luke Koch and we've been going back and forth. He's done a lot of stuff, photo video wise behind the scenes for a lot of different companies. And, uh, just nice to finally meet him. Ran over to the finisher booth and got to talk to Dave and then he was right next to Gundog and uh, I got to talk to Alex Langbell and those guys asked me to come film up in Canada this year and do some content for them. So just overall I got to stop at uh, the Midwest Flyways I talked to Cal and Carter. Um, it's just been an awesome first day and just kind of going around catching the lay of the land and uh, see what it's all about it's pretty crazy here how many different companies there are and all the people that i got to meet so really looking forward to tomorrow and uh yeah we're gonna catch back up in the morning and i'm gonna actually spend some money tomorrow i didn't spend anything today which was interesting so catch you guys in the morning that leash here yep and so when Eric puts pressure on 
she's gonna actually take that pressure off by coming to us, right? That restricts, she comes to us, that releases, right? So everything we're doing is pressure on, pressure off. Does this make sense? You guys with me so far? Okay, awesome. Now, we're going to transition now to the column, okay? So, first off, All right guys, well we've made it home from Game Fair. I'm actually working on the trailer right now, but just wanted to give you guys kind of a recap of how that last day went. Ended up watching Josh Miller in a seminar and that was pretty cool. I look over and Joel Jones is right there and we've been talking back and forth for years now. He's a phenomenal photographer, videographer, works for huge brands and uh, he's a kind of focused his energy on Dry Creek Outfitters. And so if you guys haven't seen any of their videos, go check those out because those are all what Joel's working on down there. Really cool dude. Um, ended up talking to uh, Billy and Dennis from Dr. Duck. To my surprise, Billy knew who I was, which I wasn't expecting, but that was pretty cool. And I talked to them for a while, kind of just talking about like the different hunting styles that we have. We hunt up here on the big water. They don't like the big water as much as we do, and uh, they focus their energy on the shallow water down there in Arkansas and Texas, and then they travel over all over as well. Obviously, you guys see from the videos, but it was pretty cool to sit there and talk to those guys. And then we finished off the night at the Midwest Flyways party. That was pretty awesome. There was a bunch of cool stuff there that they had the Outlaw Beer and uh, Onyx sponsored it as well. And they were just doing a bunch of giveaways, but it was just cool to sit in there and talk to other people that work in the waterfowl industry a lot more than I do and just kind of pick their brains and uh, hang out with Sean. Obviously, I spent the entire weekend with Sean, so it was cool to hang out with him. He got kind of screwed on a turtle box win at the Midwest Flyways party because he decided to leave. So he didn't get his turtle box. He was bummed about that, but uh, I appreciate him having me and uh you know call me pretty much when i left my house and uh tell me he'd hook me up with a pass for the weekend i could hang out with them in the booth so i did that i hung out with him literally the whole weekend it was pretty awesome to just hang out with sean and uh you know go check out game fair if you guys haven't been there it's definitely worth checking out there's so much cool stuff there there's the seminars the trick shooting the dog stuff, all the different booths, everybody they can possibly think of is there. So if you guys get a chance to go out there and check it out, definitely do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog of Game Fair. And if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Too Many Hobbies podcast and go check out RNTV season 19 on Sportsman's channel. Uh, the, the episodes have come out. And uh, the first episode, to my surprise, had a bunch of clips that we filmed in Michigan, so that was really cool. But check that out, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.